गुरुद्वारा करतारपुर साहिब The River Ravi, presenting an eye-catching landscape and natural sceneries, enters Pakistan near Jassar in Tehsil Shakargarh, District Narawal, Punjab, Pakistan. It is a river which is custodian of many historic events. It holds within it the indelible rhythm of history. It witnessed the founding of Sikhism in the 16th century. Kartarpur a place sacred to six located in nearby the river ravi as one approaches near kartarpur sahib a tall flag pole bearing the sik flag called the nishan sahib is visible from a distance indicating the presence of the gurdwara kartarpur sahib guru nanak the founder of sikhism formally laid the foundation of kartarpur meaning the city of god in 1515 Gurdwara Kartarpur Sahib was established by Baba Guru Nanak himself in 1521. It was the first gurdwara ever built. Kartarpur thus became the first Sikh center. Gurdwara Kartarpur Sahib is one of the holiest places in Sikhism. The gurdwara is the place of worship for Sikhs, meaning the gateway through which the guru could be reached. Guru Nanak was born in 1469 in a village Rai Bhoi di Talwandi, now called Nankana Sahib. In his early teens, Nana caught the attention of the local landlord, Rai Bular Bhatti, who was moved by his amazing intellect and divine qualities. Rai Bular Bhatti and Nanak's sister, Bibi Nanaki, encouraged and supported Nana to study and travel. At the age of 30, Nana began to spread the teachings of Sikhism. Guru Nanak's followers began to be called six the learners. He taught them to bow only before God and to link themselves to the Guru, the light of truth. According to history, in the beginning of the 16th century, the then governor of the area, Dhuni Chand, met Guru Nanak and donated 100 acres of land to Guru Sahib. This land was on the right bank of the River Ravi. Guru Nanak accepted the land and decided to settle there. The Guru began to cultivate the land around his new settlement. Irrigation well of Guru Nanak's time is still preserved in the compound of the Gurdwara. Gurdwara Kartarpur Sahib is located on Shakargarh Narawal Road. It is about 140 kilometers from Lahore. The shrine is located about 4 kilometers from the Indo-Pakistan border. The gurdwara is located next to a small village named Kothe Pind on the west bank of the Ravi River in Punjab, Pakistan. The original place founded by Guru Nanak was washed away by the floods of the River Ravi. The present gurdwara was rebuilt in its place by Sardar Bhupinder Singh, the Maharaja of Patiala. The government of Pakistan renovated the building in 1995, incurring a huge amount. After renovation, it sparkles like a jewel in the area. The Gurdwara Kartarpur Sahib is a spacious and beautiful square structure building. It is a three-story building. After crossing the entrance gate to the temple, one is impressed by the wide open area around the temple building. The building has entrances on all four sides signifying that it is open to all without any discrimination. According to Sikh history, when Guru Nanak died on September 22, 1539, his Hindu followers wanted to cremate the remains as per Hindu tradition, while his Muslim followers wanted to bury the body as per Islamic tradition. Finally, it was decided that each group should place a garland of flowers besides his body, and the party whose garland remains fresh after 3 days could dispose of his body according to their tradition. It is said that upon raising the cloth, flowers were found fresh. Thus, Hindus cremated their flowers, whereas the Muslims buried theirs. Sikh devotees on arrival at Gurdwara Kartarpur Sahib go straight to the Guru's grave to offer religious rituals. The smadi is inside the building on the ground floor. A covered passage runs around the smadi. 
Stairs lead to the second floor. It has the main hall called Darbar Sahib with an all-around gallery. Darbar Sahib is the most sacred place in Gurdwara Kartar Sahib, where the current and everlasting Guru of the Sikhs, the Holy Scripture, the Guru Granth Sahib, is placed on an elevated platform. It is resting under a gorgeously decorated canopy. The dome and four minarets are on the third story. Dome is the crowning feature of the Gurdwara. The dome is over the spot where Guru Granth Sahib is seated. The dome of Gurdwara Kartarpur Sahib is ribbed and painted in white. Guru Nanak started many pious deeds at Kartarpur. He started a langar, a communal kitchen, a free meal open to anyone of any faith. Guru Nanak built a sarai, rooms for pilgrims, the worship center for the followers to listen to the spiritual discourse and religious hymns in the praise of Vaheguru, meaning wonderful teacher, but used to refer to God. Guru Nanak's guruship span is from August 20th, 1507 to September 22nd, 1539. The government of Pakistan is committed to pursue policies that are aimed at creating greater harmony and cohesion among people of different faiths. Pakistan has always happily welcomed Sikh brothers and sisters with open arms and makes excellent arrangements to ensure the provision of maximum facilities to Sikh pilgrims. Pilgrims visit the Gurdwara Sahib regularly to offer religious rituals. Pakistan makes foolproof security arrangements to safeguard Sikh pilgrims. Sikhs have an emotional attachment with Gurdwara Kartarpur Sahib. Pakistan, in the year 2000, decided to provide unrestricted passage to Indian Sikh devotees to visit the shrine by building a corridor which would be fenced on both sides. The corridor from India to Kartarpur Sahib will be about 4 kilometers in length. It will facilitate the Sikh pilgrims to visit Gurdwara Kartarpur Sahib in Pakistan. No passport or visa would be required, but pilgrims would have to return within a few hours the same day. Indian Punjab Legislative Assembly Chandigarh favored Pakistan's proposal and unanimously passed a resolution on October 1, 2010, asking the Indian government to open the corridor linking Indian border with Kartarpur Sahib. Pakistan's proposal is with the Indian government. It has not signaled its willingness to participate in the scheme. Gurdwara Kartarpur Sahib can play a vital role in initiating a peace process and can be used as a corridor to peace in the region.